Hey guys, it's Huff. I am back again. This is going to be the intro for a new project that I am doing. This one was started by Monica the Diva. This is the 17 in 2017 2.0. Um, she had a list of um, different categories and a different number of products per category. Um, so I went through my collection and picked stuff out. Um, I will leave a link to Monica down below as well as the other people who are doing this. I think there's at least one other person. There might be a couple of other people doing it as well. So I'll leave links to them down below as well so you can go and check them out also. Um, I know Lorraine is doing it and I think LS is doing it as well. So the first category is um, lipstick and we needed five lipsticks to use up in 2017. So what I have done, most of the stuff that I am getting rid of is stuff that has been depotted into other containers. So I have this little bundle of lipsticks. I don't actually know what any of these lipsticks are. They have no names on them. So I don't know what brand they are. I don't know what colour they are. They're just all lipsticks. <laughs> of various lipsticks. So I have... Uh, this one here, actually my camera hates me, there you go, um, this is sort of a Movi kind of color, um, it's one of those ones that you can build up quite a bit or wear quite sheer, um, I'm obviously going to have to use a lip brush with these, um, I probably should already be using a lip brush. Um, this is the next one. <coughs> this is a darker, brighter kind of shade. Then I have a purple, so that's that one there. You can make this one quite a bit darker if you put more on. The next one is more of a nude kind of tone. So, it's not a lot of colour to that one, but um, a lot of the reason I picked the colours I did is because they can be fairly easily mixed to create other shades. And the last one is this really cool kind of movie colour but with um, like a gold sheen to it. There's that one there. So those are my five all of six. The next category is eyeshadows, and we had to pick four eyeshadows. Um, again, I have ones that are in these containers. Two of the eyeshadows that I am going to use are from Eco Minerals, and they're mineral eyeshadows. Um, the first one is called Coco, and it is a matte brown colour. There's not a huge amount in, because they're like samples, but they'll still probably take me ages to use them. <laughs> and the other one is called Indian Summer, which is more of a warmer. Um, and this one's got shimmer to it, whereas the other one's just completely plain matte brown. And then I picked out these two, which have no names. I don't know what brand they are, where they came from. They're ones that are depotted at some stage. Um, so we have this one, which is 
an olive green. And you can see there's a there's a reasonable amount of product in these. And the other one is just a very basic cream color. Probably good for all over the lid. Um, maybe a bit of brow highlight, that sort of thing. So those are my four um, eyeshadows. The next category was blush, and we had to pick three blushes. Again, I picked a couple from Eco Minerals, like samples that I've got. Um, I'm not a huge fan of mineral blush, so it's not really something that I reach for. But um, I really want to use these up. I mean, it's sort of cheating, I guess, to just use sample size, but they're just the things that I want to use up, and um, I'd rather be successful than not successful. And if I get rid of them really quickly, then I have plenty of other blushes that I can add in. Um, so this one is called Amethyst, and it's just a pale purple, and the other one is called Dreamtime. which is a fairly pale, natural kind of tone. And the third um, blush is one that I've tried panning before, and it's been in my collection for ages, and frankly I'm kind of sick of it. <laughs> I really want to use it up. If I don't get used up this year, I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, this is from Hope Girl. This is in girly pink. Um, And it is just a very light girly pink with shimmer. It's really gorgeous and everything. It's just, um, it was super full when I got it. And I'm sort of, I'm getting there. It's just, it does take a really long time to use. Um, especially when you use it the way you're supposed to, which is with this puff thing. Um, you just kind of apply it like that. Kind of makes a real mess. As you see, you can see why I want it. Not that I would apply that heavily, but that's that's, that's one of the reasons I want to get rid of it. <laughs> the next one is um, <laughs> sorry, I got, I got confused about what I was doing. Next one is foundation. Um, the first one I'm going to use is another Eco Minerals one. This is one I want to. It's actually two samples mixed together. It's their light vanilla and their very okay, light vanilla and vanilla. Um, the vanilla one is quite a bit more yellow than the light vanilla. So I basically I just mix them together, and the colour will work fine. Um, but it's just something that I want to use up anyway. Um, and the other foundation is one of my older foundations. It says the CoverGirl True Blend. Um, it says L2 on the back, but I know for a fact that this is actually a mix of L1 and L2. Um, and I think it's got some Revlon Color Stay in it as well. It was, um, yeah, it's a Franken foundation. So I really want to get that one used up. And the next category is Fast Face Powders. English. Uh, face powder. So the first one that I want to use up is from LOL. It's their very light powder. I know this one works for me. It's just a very basic light coloured powder. You can actually sort of see lines in it. I don't know how thick the pan is on this. I don't think it's very thick because it's not particularly expensive. It's like a dollar. Um, and the other face powder is the Physician's Formula Mineral Veil Matte Finishing Veil. Um, I've had this one for a while, and it's, when I hold it sort of on the side, I have about half of it left, basically. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I would not recommend using this brush. The brush is actually really quite scratchy and horrible. has kind of like a siftery thing on the top. It may be one that when I've finished off another powder I depot it because I don't really like this packaging very much. 
And the last category is highlighter. Um, even though I'm supposed to, only supposed to put one in, I'm actually putting two in. Um, one of them is this one. It's just the So Susan water-based pure luminizer, which if you have watched my makeup collection, you'll find out that the container broke. So I do put it into a different container. And there's heaps in there. And I don't usually use like a cream highlighter, but I'm going to this year. And the other highlighter is actually a powder one. And again, it's a sample. This is Eco Minerals Illuminate white light so I'm going to use that one up as well so those are all of my products for finish 17 in 17 basically if I finish something like particularly if I finish it quite quickly I will probably just add something else in so that I'm always working on approximately 17 items um, to make it kind of like last the whole year and if I don't finish everything in every category, at least if I finish 17, I'll be happy with that. Which is not necessarily the way that Monica was intending it for, to go, but, you know, we always put our own little spin on these things. So, again, I will leave Monica and the others doing this collab linked down below. Hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up with what I'm doing. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you get notifications when I put out new videos. Leave me a thumbs up if you like makeup and project panning type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.